Well, I didn't want to chime in on the Kim Davis case until I had all the facts straight, and I believe I do now. Let me start by giving you the background real quick. This all begins with the Supreme Court ruling issued June 26, 2015. In a 5-4 ruling, according to the U.S. Supreme Court, keeping with the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment, states must now issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples if they do so to opposite-sex couples. This is considered to be equal protection under the law. Now, because of that ruling, that means that states must issue licenses, all government agencies must issue licenses, but understand that no private sector group is required to do so. So churches are not required to marry same-sex couples, for example. I have heard rumors like that. It's simply not true, at least not according to the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, regarding Kim Davis, Kim Davis is an elected county clerk, which means she is a public official. If the Supreme Court ruling is considered to be the law of the land, then that means that she is required to abide by their ruling as a, an elected public official. She refused to carry out that ruling. She refused to issue same-sex marriage licenses. As a result, um, she was brought before court and was actually sentenced to jail not for refusing in and of itself so much as contempt of court. This is where it gets messy. Apparently, she was charged with contempt of court because she blatantly refused to carry out the order and issue same-sex marriage licenses, and she also refused to resign. That part, refusing to resign, that's the last detail I needed to make sense of all of this. Because when I heard she went to jail, my first reaction was, well, when you don't do your job, you get fired. You don't go to jail for it. So I thought it was a bit excessive at first. But now I realize that she has the option of resigning, and she is not taking that option. So... That being the case, based on the Supreme Court ruling, the judge who sentenced Kim Davis to jail for contempt of court, he's simply carrying out his duty. So I want to start by emphasizing that. Whatever you think of same-sex marriage, whatever you think of the Supreme Court ruling, that particular judge really has no choice but to do exactly what he did. Otherwise, he would be in defiance of the Supreme Court. So now that we've covered all the details, I think there's probably three ways you could really look at this from a legal standpoint. The first one is, quite simply, that the Supreme Court ruling is the law of the land. Um, it goes into effect immediately because they did not stipulate otherwise. And therefore, Kim Davis deserved to be sentenced to jail for contempt of court because she refused to carry out the order and she refused to resign. Another point of view, let's go all the way other end of the spectrum, would be those who would argue quite simply that the Supreme Court does not have the authority to make a ruling like that. They would say that the Supreme Court is twisting the words of the 14th Amendment. They would say that we shouldn't abide by the Supreme Court if they go against the Constitution, and they consider that ruling to be against the Constitution, and therefore they would say that Kim Davis should not be in jail, um, should not be punished in any way, and she should continue to deny licenses to same-sex couples. There's also a third way, and this one's really interesting, as presented by Congressman Thomas Macy. Because the ruling went into effect in the middle of Kim Davis's term, well, she swore when she first took office to abide by Kentucky's state constitution. And there's nothing in Kentucky state constitution that requires her to issue same-sex marriage licenses. This ruling comes into effect. She finds herself in the middle of her term, and suddenly she's being told to do something she never agreed to. So according to Congressman Thomas Macy, she should not have to carry out that order for the rest of her term. I suppose it follows from that that if she were to run for re-election, that then from that point onward she would have to carry out that order. Now... The, the principal issue by Thomas Macy is, um, has plenty of precedent behind it, but it usually involves the Supreme Court saying so. I have heard a few comparisons of this to the Brown v. Board of Education ruling in 1954, but when the Supreme Court issued that ruling in 1954, they said it was to car be carried out with all deliberate speed. In practice, that was understood to mean several years. Um, it was three years later when President Eisenhower started enforcing the ruling, so he gave the schools three years to desegregate. Now, regarding Kim Davis, if they had said something like all deliberate speed, 
you could maybe argue that Thomas Macy is right, but the courts did not stipulate anything like that. They quite simply gave the ruling, that's it. I suppose you could appeal the ruling and maybe the Supreme Court would make an exception, but as it currently stands, that's not where we are on it. So, those are basically the three ways you can look at this. <music> Lastly, I guess on a more personal note, I just want to give some credit to Mr. Smith and Mr. Yates. They are the first gay couple that was married in Kim Davis's jurisdiction after she was jailed for contempt of court. The reason I, I wanted to acknowledge them is because they made it clear that they want her released from jail, they never wanted her sent to jail, they just wanted their marriage license. Whatever you think of gay marriage itself, I gotta say that just shows a lot of integrity on their part. It shows that for them, it, they just want the same rights as everyone else. They are not vindictive. They're not out for revenge against people who've opposed same-sex marriage or continue to do so. They just want the same rights to marry as straight couples have had for so long. And according to the U.S. Supreme Court, they now have that right. I hope that other gay couples will follow their example. Um, just pursue your rights and don't seek vengeance against people who oppose you. Let their actions speak for themselves. Thank you. Oh, what a relief it is. What a relief.